Traveling can be tedious. You have to prepare ahead to catch your plane on time, and when you're on the plane, train, or bus, and you have any issues, well, you have to suck it up and wait till the journey's over. But what if you were rich? What if you were the CEO of some company, or... <sighs> What if you are one of the richest CEOs in the world? Well, I know what that will be like because I fantasize about it too. Plus, I did do some digging on the actual richest CEOs in the world. And the bottom line of their traveling itinerary is that they don't catch a plane, the plane catches them. Sure, they might have to deal with some CO2 emissions on their conscience, but it's nothing money can't solve with some charity, environmental lectures, and books. Ha! And people say money can't solve everything. I'm looking at you, William Henry Gates III. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, make sure you have subscribed and ring that bell so you never miss a video from us. Number 5. Warren Buffett This guy used a bicycle to get around in his younger days as a newspaper boy. Being immortal like the Queen has its perks and Warren Buffett used this advantage to make some long-term investments that paid off. He's now the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway and currently stands as the fifth richest CEO in the world with a net worth of $98 billion. Berkshire Hathaway is the largest conglomerate worldwide, and one of its subsidiaries is NetJets, the largest private jet operator in the world. This company sells part ownership of business jets to rich individuals to reduce the redundant expenses that may come with owning a private jet while retaining the efficiency and comfort of travel. Basically, it's Uber slash Airbnb, but for the rich. Warren Buffett is a recent convert to private jet travel as he had often criticized the practice in the past. He then went ahead to buy a Bombardier Challenger for himself but he named it the indefensible, just to show that he meant what he was saying. Eventually, he found that he needed this means of travel and later changed the name to the indispensable. The Challenger 600 is spacious enough to seat 9 to 19 passengers in its luxurious cabin. The cabin is 8.2 feet wide, 6.1 feet high, and 28.3 feet long. The plane also has 115 cubic feet of space set aside for baggage. What's really cool, though, is the fact that the Challenger has really low noise and vibration vibration levels. Mr. Buffett spends most of his time in the air, and according to him, he only drives about 3,000 miles a year. For perspective, the average elderly American male has three times that mileage with over 10,000 miles per year. So it's not surprising that he moves around in his 2014 Cadillac XTS that would cost only around $20,000 today. Number 4. Mark Zuckerberg Away from the ways of the sages, we move to our youngest, richest CEO, Mark Zuckerberg. You all know him as the founder and CEO of Facebook. He plays the role of Jesse Eisenberg in real life, and he's one of, if not the most influential individual in modern-day media. He is the father of all social media influencers and has been recognized by Time as one of the top 100 most influential people in 2019. He's currently worth $110 billion, and you'd think he doesn't spend a lot considering that he wears the same gray t-shirt almost all the time. Well, think again, because those t-shirts are custom made by Bruno Cuccinelli and cost about $400 each. And it's the same with his travel lifestyle, bland on the surface, filthy on the receipt. Mr. Zuckerberg does not own a private jet like the rest of our richest CEOs. Instead, Facebook handles his travel expenses on charter services, just as they handle other stuff like his security. In 2020, the year we were all supposed to stay at home, Facebook spent around $25 million on and charter services for Zuckerberg. On the road, Zuckerberg makes use of modest cars like the Volkswagen GTI and the Honda Fit. The two cars would cost a combined amount of around $60,000. But if you think that's all, then you have not been listening to me, because he also owns a Pagani Huayra, which is worth $3 million, 50 times more than the other cars combined. Zuckerberg, bland on the surface, filthy on the receipt. Number 3. Bernard Arnault Bernard Arnault is the richest person in France, the richest person in Europe and the richest person in fashion after overtaking Amancio Ortega of Zara in 2018. He has, in fact, been the richest man in the world on two different occasions when he overtook you-know-who in 2019 and 2020. He is the CEO of LVMH, a multinational conglomerate that deals with luxury goods under fashion, wines, watches, spirits, perfumes, cosmetics, and all that. Mr. Arnault is worth $123 billion, making him one of only four centibillionaires in the world. 
world. It's no surprise then that he splashed $54 million on a Dassault Falcon 7X business jet. With Bernard, it's all about the fancy way of living and his French manufactured aircraft. The cabin has a height of 6.3 feet and is large enough with three different seating zones that can accommodate as many as 19 passengers. The Dassault Falcon 7X has three engines, is the first business jet with fly-by wire technology, and has a range of 6,000 nautical miles that can take Bernard Arnault from the LVMH headquarters in Paris all the way to Tokyo without stopping once. Mr. Arnault also has a 333-meter yacht called Symphony that has a capacity for 16 passengers and 36 crew members. It has a six-foot swimming pool, a jacuzzi, and a cinema. This yacht costs $150 million and an annual running cost of 10 to $15 million. Number 2. Elon Musk This guy started 2021 with a bang when he beat Jeff Bezos to the title of the richest person in the world on the 7th of January. Now he's the second richest person and the second richest CEO on our list with a net worth of $160 billion. He's the CEO of SpaceX, Tesla, co-founder of Neuralink, and founder of The Boring Company. Elon Musk is quite simply a genius and an eccentric, and it's hard to tell if it all gets to his head as he is a very down-to-Mars guy. Aside from naming his kid after a Google-recommended password, he has it all pretty much together. He recently moved from California to Texas to focus on the SpaceX Starship project and other duties. However, with both Tesla and SpaceX headquartered in California, he still has to commute to the Golden State and other places too. And Mr. Musk does his computing in style with two private jets, the Gulfstream G550 and the Gulfstream G650ER. The Gulfstream G650ER is bigger, faster, has a better range, and was awarded a Collier Trophy for strengthening business aviation. Both of the business jets can carry up to 18 passengers each in its cabin, but Elon Musk's planes have been customized to different configurations that suit his taste and comfort. This includes handcrafted chairs, Wi-Fi, and four different areas for dining, working, and relaxing. The G650ER costs a whopping $70 million, while the G550 would cost around $61 million today. That's a turbulent amount of money. When on the ground, Elon is mostly seen driving his more comfortable Tesla Model S, which costs up to $140,000. And when with his kids, he uses the all-wheel drive Tesla Model X, which costs up to $110,000. Sure, they're his cars, but that's still a lot of money. Number 1. Jeff Bezos The one you've been waiting for, the richest CEO in the world, is the CEO of Amazon, Jeff Bezos. The company has stated that he will be stepping down as the CEO of the company in the second half of 2020 and will be replaced by Andy Jassy. Bezos has a current net worth of $181 billion and was the first centibillionaire, the first man to have a net worth of $200 billion briefly in December of 2020, the richest man in modern history, and his greatest achievement, the greatest bounce back from a divorce. That's great and all, but when is Warner Brothers going to realize that he's also the perfect cast for Lex Luthor and proceed to kick Jesse Eisenberg back to the social network? Anyway, Bezos flies and style, the Gulfstream G650ER to be precise. But unlike Elon Musk who has one, he has two G650s, which cost about $150 million. It's no surprise that the G650ER is the business jet of choice for billionaires like Elon Musk, Larry Ellison, and Jeff Bezos. The aircraft has several speed records and an aviation award for its class as I mentioned earlier. It has four different room spaces, large comfortable chairs, walk-around space, and large windows that let in natural light and make the space look even bigger. When Jeff Bezos decides to come down to earth with mortals, he can be seen in his Ferrari Pininfarina Sergio, Bugatti Veyron Mansory, W Motors Lycan Hypersport, Koenigsegg CCXR Trevita, or Lamborghini Veneno. This entire fleet of cars cost a total of $20 million. They're all fast, and most of them are rare. But that's just change if you're the richest CEO in the world. So there you have it, the traveling style of the richest CEOs in the world. Let us know which one you're going to be dreaming about in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, do leave us a like and check out the King Luxury channel for more videos all about luxury. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.